Everybody, it's Ryan the Beast 29 here. Uh, so today I'm going to be showing you how to tape my uh, the way I tape my goalie stick knob. Uh, this is kind of like a variation of the carry price knob that I've been showing y'all how to do. Uh, like it's got the like kind of like advancing uh, baseball knob or something like that, uh, but it's a little bit different. So uh, yeah, so what you're going to need is you're going to need regular white tape, uh, like the regular th width, not the big goalie one. And then uh, some grip tape. Uh, grip tape is optional, but I really recommend it. And you don't have to get red. That's just personal preference. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so first step, get your regular white tape. Uh, and get some scissors. And you're going to unroll the tape a little bit. And you're going to want to try and cut in the middle as possible. That's about the middle. And uh, once you cut it, you're just going to split it up. And uh, once you've done that, now you're just going to regular uh, tape around the top of the knob. Um, I'm not going to do it fully. I'm going to speed the video up. Um, I don't really have like a number of rolls I go around the knob. I just pretty much uh, go around until it looks about, uh, looks about right. Okay, so now I've got the uh, about the desired length. Uh, or the, I guess you could say the desired amount of tape I want on the top of my knob. Uh, so now I'm gonna do the same thing with the little half tape, and I'm gonna go one, uh, under this, under this uh, knob, and I'm gonna make this one a little bit, uh, a little bit smaller, so the top knob is that um, is bigger, and uh, yeah. Okay, so I finished the second knob. Um, if you can see, maybe, you can, let me try and focus in. You can see that the bottom one is a little bit more smaller. It's not as uh, big. So now I'm just going to do one more layer or knob, whatever you want to call it, uh, with half tape. Um, and then uh, we're almost done. Okay, so I'm done with the uh, third knob. Um, and like I said, the third knob is a little bit smaller than all the rest of them. So like it's kind of like progressing up, I guess. So now I'm gonna show you, like I'm actually gonna tape and show you how to do the second part, uh, which is pretty much just like the zigzag stuff that's usual, except we're not gonna like spin the tape around and make it that weird Crosby style knob. We're just gonna do a thin layer again, or not a thin layer, but uh, the half tape. And you're pretty much just gonna go around and uh, just make an X pretty much with your stick with the tape. And you're not gonna go down too far. I'd say just about there is fine. And then you're just gonna cut it and uh, leave it there. So now you're gonna wanna do the same thing, except you're gonna wanna go the other direction. So I'm gonna go this way. Actually, I'm going to do it turning that way so it looks better. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to go the other direction now. Alright, and now once you've got it there, we're going to cut it. And uh, then it should look something like that with like an X pattern going. And the last part, you want to get your grip tape. Just regular, this is Renfrew, Renfrew grip, grip tape. I like that a little bit better. Um, I like to start from the bottom personally. That's just personal preference. And you're just going to wrap it around. Try and get it a little bit tighter because it gives it a little better feel if you wrap it around a bit tighter and then once we get to the top we're gonna do the overlapping like we did with the carry price knob and what I mean with the overlapping is we're just gonna overlap over the knob and then we're just going to fold everything down 
So then it looks like that. And I'm gonna smash it on the ground just to give it a good little, just to make sure it stays. And then we're almost done. As you can see, it kind of looks like the Carey Price knob a little bit. We're gonna get, again, the thin tape. And we're just gonna go one wrap around the bottom just to make sure the uh, grip stays. And uh, then that's it. Pretty simple. Uh, really effective. I like this knob a little bit more than the Carey Price one. Um, and again, with the knob, you can do it however big or smaller you want it. Uh, that's personal preference. I uh, just find I like it about, I say medium. It's not huge, but it's not really small. It's about medium. But, uh, yep, so thanks for watching.